<laughs> Once again, the UB men and women, they're back in the tournament, right? Double the excitement here for the Bulls. Fans. Yeah, plenty of excitement. And today, as you mentioned earlier this evening, the men found out where they're headed. Here's the moment, in fact, they did. Okay. <laughs> Fourth time in five years, but you know what? It doesn't get old, Ron. You can tell that excitement level you talked about. That's the reaction. Here is the matchup. They are a six seed in the West. They're going to face either Arizona State or St. John's Friday in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Now, those teams play on Wednesday night to determine who advances. And there could be a little history involved since a guy named Hurley coaches at Arizona State. We're going to have more on that later in sports. Right now, we continue our team coverage with reaction from Heather Pruzak. Well, the wait is finally over. The UB men know what seed they have in the NCAA tournament and where they'll play. They just don't know who they'll play yet. They were here in these chairs for their selection show watch party at Santora's, and they now know that they're the sixth seed playing in Tulsa on Friday. They'll play either Arizona State or St. John's. And as far as the seeding goes, I really thought the Bulls deserved a four or five seed, more so a four seed, but the committee ended up giving them the sixth seed. I think that's a little low, and the team agrees. Yeah, but then again, uh, that's not in our control. Uh, our control is only play the game. Uh, we went 31 and three. Um, I think that's that's good enough for a five seed. But you know, uh, the, the ball just got to bounce in our court now, and now it's just up for us to play our game. I mean, as you looked at it today, that's where a lot of people projected us. I just we had the best record in all college basketball, so. You know, we tie with Houston. Nobody else, nobody has more wins than we, than we do. So, uh, six is a little low, but I mean, this what is there. If you look at the teams that are one through five, those are some pretty good teams. And of course, a big storyline to watch if Arizona State does beat St. John's is the fact that the Bulls would face former head coach Bobby Hurley, the guy who gave Nate Oates his shot. I talked with Oates about that one on one after the announcement. We'll hear from him coming up a little later in sports. Reporting from Santora's after UB's selection show watch party, Heather Prusak, Channel 2 Sports. All right, Heather, thanks very much. And uh, Ron, you had mentioned the UB women, obviously, mm -hmm. MAC champions as well. They are going back to the NCAA tournament with an automatic bid this time after making the Sweet 16 last year. They find out where they're headed, who they're playing, uh, and when tomorrow. Okay, we will be watching.